actually think it's really important if if you are producing music now to actually get a four track and try to make music on a four track. There's it's it's kind of incredible what you can do with it. Also, the there's a certain tone that you get out of tape that like I got kind of missed sometimes. It's funny we've kind of gone full circle, where now like analog gear is really sought after and like with vocals. I mean, you can when you push the tape to its limits. Um, there's a really a beautiful sound that you get out of it, and I kind of miss that sometimes. But yeah, I think it's what's what makes it interesting is that you really have to commit to everything that you do. So, and you don't really. I mean, I used to make loop tapes, but I would play them separately, you know, like little tiny loops and stuff like that to get sort of beds of sound. But for the most part, you have to kind of think about the entire song. So when you lay down the kick drum, you got to go through four minutes of kick, just kick drum, and then go back with the snare, and then go back with the guitar, and really fully commit, and you bounce everything down, and you get very little chance to kind of, you can't undo, you know? You can kind of overdub, but it's not that easy. So I think it's really good practice to get to understand that and to not be stuck in the loop which is i think when you're starting music now it's all loop based and i think that that can actually limit your understanding of, of learning how to arrange and compose a song right from the get-go yeah and how long were those tapes um duration wise um well they they go at like i'm trying to remember now they basically go at double speed and you only get to use one side of the tape essentially i mean you're using all all sides of the tape but you have two tracks on one side two tracks on the other so i think that equates to maybe like 20 minutes or something per tape okay yeah and and so the strategy that you would use and, and i th i tell me if i'm wrong but i think um mm -hmm. you take each instrument on a on a track and then kind of you said bounce but um for those who might not be uh familiar with the language but you kind of compress that into one track and now you've got three mm -hmm. other open ones exactly yeah and then you but every time you that. do that what you, you lose a little quality right mm -hmm. so every time you bounce down you're kind of sacrificing a little bit because so you can only do it so many times before it starts to sound really hissy yeah um so you pretty much only get like a couple opportunities and then you're left with what like so you have three tracks and then you can bounce two to one and then you have two tracks and you can bounce. you know so you're sort of like Com you're always compromising to when you add more stuff, which is also a limitation that I think is good to work within because, you know, having only four tracks to work with really forces you to think very carefully about what four tracks are going to use as opposed to now where you have like an infinite amount of tracks and you can just keep adding and adding and adding and adding and that can be kind of a trap in itself. Yeah, definitely. And, and in your mind was the final uh, track the the most sensitive or the most, you know, you wanted to make sure that you left that last one for the vocals or what would you leave it for? Yeah, vocals usually. That was like always the kind of the final, the final thing to work on because that's the one that you're going to be doing over and over again. And, um, but yeah, every, also every track is every song or track or whatever is, a, is an exploration of a different way to do it, you know, and it's a, there's different ways that to, to, approach and i still have that philosophy now it's like i don't have a way that i do things it's like now it's like well, well i'm gonna try this technique or maybe i'll try and do something completely different this time with how i you know maybe i'll do the vocals first this time or whatever um so it's really about yeah every like i said every song is just a different a different technique to free your music.